This Ridley O sponsored by Keenvention.info. It's a keen convention, you'll have to go. Hello, this is Ron Paul with your weekly update for Monday, August 5th. Why won't they tell us the truth about NSA spying? In 2001, the Patriot Act opened the door to U.S. government monitoring of Americans without a warrant. It was unconstitutional, but most in Congress, over my strong objection, were so determined to do something after the attacks of 9-11 that they did not seem to give it too much thought. Civil liberty groups were concerned, and some of us in Congress warned about giving up our liberties, even in the post-9-11 panic. But at the time, most Americans did not seem too worried about the intrusion. This complacency has suddenly shifted, given recent revelations of the extent of government spying on Americans. Politicians and bureaucrats are faced with serious backlash from Americans outraged that their most personal communications are intercepted and stored. They had been told that only the terrorists would be monitored. In response to this anger, defenders of the program have time and again resorted to spreading lies and distortions. But these untruths are now being exposed very quickly. In a Senate hearing this March, Director of National Intelligence James Clapper told Senator Ron Wyden that the NSA did not collect phone records of millions of Americans. This was just three months before the revelations of an NSA leaker made it clear that Clapper was not telling the truth. Pressed on his false testimony before Congress, Clapper apologized for giving an erroneous answer, but claimed it was just because he, quote, simply didn't think of Section 215 of the Patriot Act. Wow. As the story broke in June of the extent of warrantless NSA spying against Americans, House Intelligence Committee Chairman Mike Rogers assured us that the project was strictly limited and not invasive. He described it as a lockbox with only phone numbers, no names, no addresses in it. We've used it sparingly. It is absolutely overseen by the legislature, the judicial branch, and the executive branch, and has lots of protections built in, close quote. But we soon discovered that also was not true either. We learned in another Guardian newspaper article last week that the top secret X key score program allows even low-level analysts to search with no prior authorization through vast databases containing emails, online chats, and the browsing histories of millions of individuals. The keys to Rogers' lockbox seems to have been handed out to everyone but the janitors. As the chairman of the committee that is supposed to be most in the loop on these matters, it seems either the intelligence community misled him about their programs, or he misled the rest of us. It sure would be nice to know which it is. Likewise, Representative Rogers and many other defenders of the NSA spying program promised us that this dragnet scooping of the personal electronic communication of millions of Americans had already stopped dozens of terrorist plots against the United States. In June, NSA Director General Keith Alexander claimed that the just-discovered bulk collection of American phone numbers and other electronic records had foiled 50 terror plots. Opponents of the program were to be charged with being unconcerned with our security. But none of it was true. The Senate Judiciary Committee then heard dramatic testimony from NSA Deputy Director John Inglis. According to The Guardian, this is what he said, quote, The NSA has previously claimed that 54 terrorist plots had been disrupted over the lifetime of the bulk phone records collection and the separate program collecting the Internet habits and communications of people believed to be non-Americans. On Wednesday, English said that at most one plot might have been disrupted by the bulk phone records collection alone. Close quote. From dozens to at most one, supporters of these programs are now on the defensive with several competing pieces of legislation in the House and Senate seeking to rein in an administration and intelligence apparatus that is clearly out of control. This is to be commended. 
What is even more important, though, is for more and more Americans to educate themselves about our precious liberties and to demand that our government abide by the Constitution. We do not have to accept being lied to or spied on by our government. This Ridley O sponsored by Keenvention.info. It's a keen convention, you'll have to go. Only fifty bucks held near the peak of leaf peeping season in a place that's fascinating even without its natural beauty. The purpose is to focus discussion on New Hampshire freedom activism. November first through the third. Keenvention.info. It's a keen convention, you'll have to go.